If you're needing to restock your seed collection, this is a great time to be looking for those sales. The seeds were packaged for this year, where that doesn't mean they expire, have to be planted this year. Many seeds will last for a long time. So I did a big order from MI Gardener as they were having a 50% off sale and I needed to restock a bunch of my seeds and I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Now most of these seeds are going to be for planting next year but there are a couple I'm going to be planting here in the next couple of days as I do my last seed planting of the year. So let's see what we got. These are a yellow wonder strawberry. I'm gonna try those out. This is something different. These take a long time to grow. They'll be started in the early, maybe February, and I'll try to get them out for next year. A uh, little potato cucumber. I always love little different cucumbers. They're always fun to grow. And then we have the golden acre cabbage, growing it like it, need to grow more cabbage. The Copenhagen market cabbage again, like uh, this cabbage is a good one. And this is a mammoth red rock cabbage. I've only ever grown the smaller, um, which one? The Red Express. So it'll be nice to grow this one. Supposedly it's really big. Never have enough carrots. Love them. So this is a tender sweet carrot. And we have a Danvers 126 carrot. And then we have a golden zucchini. Love these. Grow these ones all the time. This is a new one, Sweet Siberian Watermelon. I don't really grow watermelon successfully here. This one might grow okay. Siberian's in the name. It's kind of a cooler climate, we'll see. Sugar Pie Pumpkin. I didn't grow any of these this year and we really like them, so I need to do that for next year. This one's kind of different. It's called the Toothache Plant. It's supposed to be you rub it on your gums and it kind of numbs your mouth, so if you have a toothache, we'll try that out. I'm trying to grow a lot of like medicinal and stuff plants. Here we have a zinnia, it's Envy, it's a green zinnia. Thought that'd be kind of fun, different colors. Uh, this is a orange sherbet carnation. I tried carnations this year, nothing really grew, but I'm gonna try again because I love carnations. This is one I really wanted, a pink plume celery. I've only ever grown the Utah something something, which it's okay, but it's really bitter, so I'm trying to find a more milder tasting celery. Basil, purple ruffles basil. This one looked really cool to try. I like to grow lots of different types of basil and then a lemon basil because I needed more of those seeds. Here is a slow bolt cilantro. So bolting when they go to seed. So this one supposedly doesn't go to seed as early because of course it always goes to seed way too early and you can never really line up the cilantro with the tomatoes to make the salsa. So here's some onions, ruby red onion. Need to grow lots of onions this next year. This year I didn't do really good with the onions. Utah yellow sweet Spanish onion. Now I say next year I want to do not so many tomatoes, but then I ordered a bunch of tomato seeds, so we'll have to see. But for some reason I really like the yellow tomatoes. We have a Jubilee tomato, a pineapple tomato, and we've got, this is a cream sausage tomato. This one I don't know how to pronounce an azoichaka, azoichka tomato. A Kellogg's breakfast. These ones all come pretty recommended, so we'll try them out. And then this one I wanted to try is called a 42 day tomato. So this is gonna take 42 days, which is really nice because we don't have many days up here. Pepper, I really wanted to try this pepper. It comes highly recommended at Jimmy Nardello pepper. So we'll grow that for next year. And then of course a pumpkin spice jalapeno, something a little different. And then just more jalapeno seeds because you can never have enough. I'm going to try to save some things, but again, it's always nice to have those. Then some more green beans to try. We've got the strike bean and a contender bean. And then we have these Cherio Cherokee black bean. And this is a Indian corn. So next year I'm going to try those three sisters again because I had a lot of success with it last year. And then these last few that I saved, these are the ones that I'm going to be planting right away. It's getting a little bit late for beets. I don't know. We'll see if I throw, I might throw a few in the ground because sometimes we have a late frost. You just never know. So here's a Chayogaya. Chayogaya. Gaya. Okay. Anyways, beet. <laughs> it's the one that has the really cool little circles in the middle. And this is a Formanova beet. This is more of like a different flavor. It's called a butter slicer because of its texture, I guess. Try that one out. 
And then these ones will definitely grow is a lady slipper radish. It's supposedly a milder radish. We plant these ones. Radishes take 25, 30 days. So we're at about 30 days now. And then this um, lettuce, there's a prize head leaf lettuce, as well as a freckles romaine lettuce. Those should be able to be grown because they don't mind the cool temperatures. And this is a Tom Thumb Dwarf Pea. It's going to be pushing it for these, but I'm going to try it because it didn't have a good a lot of success with peas and we want more peas. <laughs> so that definitely restocked a lot of the seeds that I needed. I'll be putting in a couple more orders in the new year and I'll be sure to show those in the seed halls next year. But for now, we're getting towards the end of the season. So the seeds are kind of on the back burner. But again, look for some of those sales. You can buy those seeds at a good price and store them properly. And they'll be perfectly fine to plant next year. And I have a few other seed haul videos. If you're interested, check out the playlist here. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.